Well, hello there. Welcome to Kickstart Radio 102.4. I'm your host, Lipstick Patty, and today we're looking at Photo Tour, the North American board game. Hmm, is it really North America? No, it doesn't even have Mexico on the map. That's one of my beefs with this game, but hey, let's check it out. Now, it's got wonderful art, I must admit. Even some people are calling it AA, AA. AI art. Well, no, there's three artists working on this, including the designer. The names are up here. But um, let's have a look down below. I've got some criticisms which you should probably agree with too, and hopefully the devs can work this out as the game, as we can see. We're going to see the components below, but it does look like it looks nice on the table. Uh, you've got. Um, Player boards, which is like a soft tableau, not too difficult. Yeah, you're going around the map, you're going to take photos, you're going to put the photos on your tableau. Uh, tableaus has certain spaces to put them down there, so it will trigger a special ability that you can use once. So it is kind of lightweight. It's a nice gateway game, for sure, and any kind of problems you've got where you, you can't move on your go, um, you can basically spend a card to refresh one of things. So for example, if you want a photograph, you can, uh, that, if you don't want any of the photographs that are on the table here, you can refresh them by spending a card in your hand and then redoing all of these, or re redoing a few of them. Uh, let's say you want to move on the map, but you can't. there's no movement dice that you can use. You can burn a card, well, um, use one of your cards then to refresh the dice or you can also do it with the photography equipment photography equipment will be used because when you take a photograph you can get bonus victory points by using the equipment on the photographs on the cards so it's fair so really you to maximize your points whilst playing you're going to need photographic equipment to take these photos young age Definitely. Quick game, yep. Yeah. And players one to five. North America is Canada, Mexico, and USA. And you're not putting Mexico on the map. Now, art is nice. I like it. It has some educational things, which we'll see as we go down below. And all that good stuff. Um, all right, main map. You know this red arrow? It's basically pointing at the headquarters of Kickstarter Radio 102.4, isn't it? Well, almost near enough. It's, it's pointing to the state we're in. The six cards that go here on the map, I don't know why they just can't go below the board on setup, because um, you're missing out key locations here that are tourist destinations. We've got um, La Paz down here in California, sir. You've got the mountains where chihuahua is the chihuahua dog comes from that is a fantastic that's like the um the grand canyon of mexico it is absolutely stunning and to see a chihuahua in the picture would be fantastic when i went there myself i love i was searching for a chihuahua to take a picture with and uh yeah it's really cool also you look you've got cancun on the map here you could definitely 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 have a location down there for cancun and these would be nice because you would have to get your plane to go to here so they there would be more, like, more difficult locations to get to um and of course tourists from canada and usa fly to these areas and of course you got you could probably fit in puerto Vallarta there on the bottom which is the other big destination for tourists you can't possibly get acapulco in here but hey but what you've got here on the map, you could definitely fit these places in. And I think they could be, like I say, difficult places to get to. You'd have to go to, via plane to do these. And hey, why not put my city on here? Um, Mazatlan, actually, is the tourist destination in my state. That could also be one as well. So you've got potential sites that you could put down here and it would make the map more North American than it certainly is. Now, my second beef with the game is the ocean is just too dark and grimy. It almost looks like depressingly dark when actually, I mean, look at Cancun. Cancun's got aqua waters. So does Florida and some parts of California. Why can't you show that? 
it does seem to be a little bit like they've taken this photograph when it's going dark. I mean, look at the map. It's not extremely vibrant, is it? You, if you're doing a map, you want to have the uh, sun at the 12 o'clock position at noon, really. And um, the redness of the mountain seems to be a little bit, I don't know. I don't know, do you, do you think that map looks good? I'd love to know in the comments if you're happy with the map, but for me, it's it needs to be more vibrant. It needs to be more noon as opposed to dark time. It's like almost darkness, isn't it? And you know, if they really wanted to put a good stretch goal, it would be to make the map a look with some spot UV across the waters, and especially the Great Lakes, that'd be great to have spot UV. And if the rivers had some kind of, um, foil on the rivers that make the map look even super cool and they are asking for 99 dollars for the all in here so if they, if they want that much money for this box then um i think the the board could do with a few passes and get some real luxury things on the board to really push it into that kickstarter goodness that um we could expect but anyway let's go down so gorgeous game board disagree it needs to get more work done to it. Cards themselves are looking great. Um, they've got the numbers, which tell you on the map where it is. Then they've got, is it a city card? Is it a countryside card? Then they've got spots to put um, photographs on. So this is like a drone. If you use a drone and some film, you'll get bonus with the Magteni Lake. CN Tower, however, you can put, um, any tokens you want on there. Do you know, I'm, I'm not that, I'm not too happy to see that because make the player work for these cards because just having three wilds to use on this card makes it a little bit too easy for me. I'd, I'd prefer if, if you'd like, because these photograph um, equipment, it's almost like you're crafting the photograph here. And having wilds here, um, I don't know, it just feels like, especially three of them, why don't you put one thing there, I, I don't know. But anyway, when you can, when you put these on your tableau, you can use a one-time power, I think these are. And below that, you've got a little bit of education down there, which is nice. These cards are really big as well, 10 centimeters, wow. Um, that's not your average size and I think I would have liked to see some add-ons for sleeves especially as I have trekking the world and I sleeve that baby straight away because the art was beautiful I mean just look at this specific cards look gorgeous don't they and uh, when you do Mexico you can have these specific location cards from Mexico too why not mountain put chihuahua in the mountain the chihuahua mountains are just as nice as the grand canyon and all that good stuff you could have had some people kayaking uh, through arizona you know that that people like to kayak there and uh, make it look because if i'm taking a picture uh, i don't know I mean, you've got a guy up here in Brees canyon who looks like he's he's at the i don't know she could have been skiing i don't know but Las Vegas looking cool and all that stuff. And uh, I do look, I think my favorite card is the Moss Music Row here in Nashville. That looks so cool. Uh, so yeah, the art is really nice. I like it. it says here, the Voyagers National Park in Minnesota. Do you see the um, Northern Lights there? I don't think that's accurate, is it? I don't know. That looks a little bit fantastical. Also, look at this, Miami Beach. I've been to Miami Beach. It was restaurants and bars all along it, and the beach was full of people and people in the ocean. What's this car? I mean, it says it's urban. You're in the countryside here, dude. <laughs> How far down the beach have you walked to take this picture? And that picture looks like it's been taken with a drone. So why isn't there a drone thing for that picture to be taken? Because it does seem a little bit weird. Like the United States Capitol building, that photograph's not been taken by a drone. That's a person down on the ground. So, you know, I, I think 
the way they're putting these on doesn't seem to be in the kind of what you would expect to take these photos, right? Because if you're using that, maybe just make that drone a wild because it doesn't sound like it. Like the same, the gateway arch there, it needs a tripod to take that picture. Yeah, I get that. But uh, this beach looks like it's been done by a drone and this one looks like it's been done by a tripod. So there you go. Anyway. <sighs> yep, looking nice. It's all looking nice. These are the play buds. Nice. Like the little arm. I'm going to be filling these up. It's really cool. Now these photo contests, these are basically um, public objectives that are on the board. This is nice to see. It's a little bit, um, it, I think when I looked at the playthrough, they were all this color, this like kind of yellow thingy, but I wished they had a unique art on them. Um, so hopefully that is just a matter of getting around to do that. And it is still kind of prototype. This game's going to be coming out October. So maybe they have got a couple of months to kind of work on some extra art for these um, photo contests. All right. The bag looks kind of funky. I don't know how that fits in with the photo tour. Um, some people complaining about the tokens, the icons are not looking good, but I don't think they're that bad. And the meeples. Now they've got Gelux meeples and they've got Gelux tokens, which are basically thicker, but um, I don't know why they don't just, in the in the Gelux version, or even have an add-on where the artists do the art for the meeples and the tokens, because... Um, my example is the Everdell Complete Collection. Andrew Bosley has done all of the stickers to put on the meeples and it's made the game look incredible now. And so why don't you get the artists to do these, put them in a sticker and we sticker them when we get it. That is what you need to do here. I think the age of screen printing is dead, my friends, because when you put stickers on from the artists to get their art on these things, Ah, oh, man, does it look so good. So, yes, for me, screen printing is a thing of the past and we shouldn't have them on these bits. Um, Dice-wise, um, be nice to see a stretch goal where you get these etched instead of screen printed. That would be better. And uh, the score pad, again, looks... Like it needs another art pass. I keep saying it needs an art pass, don't I? Um, so these are the premium ones. And uh, I, I, I don't know. It's like you. It looks like it's four dudes and one lady. Like, can you not put and mix it up a little bit? <laughs> but they've made them oversized for whatever reason that you fit your stickers on them better. And I do like this funky metal first token. And you need to go up to the this box to get the insert, which we all want. Uh, the expansion looks great, actually. You put these roots down on the map um, where you can get special powers, one use powers. That means if, you know, You've got a photograph, you're not just beelining to it on the map, you might take a different route if you're gonna collect these tokens. So that is great. Postcards is a great concept. You take a photo in a region and you get the postcard, which gives you a power. But if someone takes a power from that region, they then get the postcard. So these postcards will be passed and tossed around the board all that time, all through the game. That is really fun. I think I'd like to sleeve these as well because they're going to look great, aren't they? So yeah, get some sleeve packs down on it. I don't know why they don't do it. Uh, Kickstarter edition. I don't know what is Kickstarter about this. It might, they might as well call that the retail. $45 box. Premium components. Um, do you know, I... Like I say, get that sticker pack on, then I'd feel more comfortable about this. And it's 99 if you want the expansion. Uh, 
All right, whatever. That's what it is. This is the best video from Bytewing Games. Is he really does a fantastic way of teaching you um, about the game's rules. Righty, so um, the moving is quite interesting where you're using the dice to, to travel across the paths and uh, all that good stuff. And I, I like how the game works, basically. It's nice gameplay and it looks juicy. I think it would complement my Trek in the World really well. But I do have my problems with the game. Uh, solos and lot, that's pretty cool. Um, alternate R is coming out. Interesting. Lid and finish. Yes, we want that. And we want more of these. All right, we're down at shipping, and that is estimate, as you know. And I would be $1 pledging anyway, just so you know what the shipping will be when it goes in the pledge manager. <laughs> But my big concerns is, number one, the board needs a more vibrant pass. It looks too dark and the oceans look kind of, I don't want to say demonic, but they just look creepily dark. They almost look, I don't know, depressingly moody. I don't think that's what we want from a photographer game. Mountains look maybe too red. And um, yeah, sex up the board with some UV spotting. And maybe something for the rivers to make them stand out as well. They are famous rivers, after all. Um, and, uh, yeah, put Mexico on the map. Why not? So there we go, peeps. I think it's almost there. I just wish it did a few things differently. And um, But let me know your thoughts. Are you happy with the map? And um, are you happy with the screen printed thingies? Because for me, I'd like sticker packs. And the bag is very fishy, isn't it? The design of the bag, <laughs> how that fits in with the theme. I've no idea. <laughs> but otherwise, Photo Tour, it does look f cool. I think it's going to be a hot game when it goes to Gen Con. And um, I'm pretty sure this is going to be great for um, families. And I think it would sit next, sit well with my trekking the world. But um, again, it's got two red flags for me, so I don't, I wouldn't be getting it myself. But I can see why people might want to get it if they can overlook the things that I want. Because at the end of the day, I'm just a Kickstarter snob, aren't I? If you know my channel. Anyway, if you <laughs> if you got this far in the video, please give it a, a thumbs up and think about subscribing if you like my um, opinions and all that good stuff. And uh, do check out the channel. It basically is back after being hacked again. And um, we've been covering some great, great Kickstarters in this past week. So please check out the content that we have on the channel. Um, this has been Kickstarter Radio 102.4. I've been your host, Lipstick Patty. You take care, stay safe, and bye for now.